Hey guys, Matt Loop here. Thank you so much for checking out this short video. What I'd like to do is answer one of the more common questions that I receive on a regular basis, and I'd like to share with you one of the more common mistakes that I see newbies make as they get into marketing themselves on Facebook. Um, it's a very, very costly mistake, so I'm going to encourage you to pay close attention to this video because I really want to share with you a very important piece of the overall marketing funnel that I feel that so many miss, especially when they begin to buy traffic from whether it's Facebook or Google AdWords. Now, right now we're on my Facebook, my personal Facebook profile page, and I want to draw your attention to this right-hand sponsored side here. This is called the Facebook ad platform. This is where you can basically buy sponsored ads, cost per click ads from Facebook, and you can generate just a tremendous amount of traffic to your business or practice website, and this is one of the strategies that I recommend there are certain ins and outs that you absolutely must know because it's not really as simple as you might think. But I wanted to draw your attention over here for the fact that, yes, you can use this for traffic generation. But when you start to get traffic to your website, one of the most important things is to be able to capture the traffic. And this is where most people completely miss the boat. So whether you're driving traffic to an actual Facebook fan page like you see here, or whether you're driving traffic just to, let's say, a regular website like you see here there are certain things that you must have to be able to capture the traffic and the fact of the matter is most people will stay on any given website at uh, you know on average for two to five seconds it's really not a lot of time for somebody to be on a website but that's just because people are surfing all over the place and they're navigating very very quickly so you have a very very short amount of time small amount of time to get someone's attention and to get them to take action. So if nothing else, I want you to remember out of this video to get people to take action as they visit your Facebook fan page or your actual website. So let's dissect out the Facebook fan page first. Now, when somebody comes to my Facebook fan page, the first thing that they see is what's called a custom landing page tab. That, that's what you see here on this, um, this uh, screen. You can see that there's a headline, there's a call to action up here, and there is a specific video with another call to action down here. The bottom line is your Facebook fan page is geared for two very important things. One, to get this person, this visitor, to actually click that like tab above. You can't see it here because I've already liked this um, particular page. The second thing is you want to collect a name and an email, and you want to have a very, very strong enough offer slash incentive for somebody to for someone to give you that name and email so that's something that um, obviously if you have questions about you can go ahead and shoot me over an email but I wanted to share that with you because the purpose of this fan page or any website is to collect information and build your list if you're not building a list uh, which by the way is the most important aspect in your online marketing building a list because the fact is most people won't come and see you immediately it takes five six to eight contacts before they start to know like and trust you so you always want to be building a list regardless of where if it's on your website if it's on your facebook fan page now uh, countless people have asked me well hey how do i get a custom facebook landing page that has this um you know custom video with a headline more more like in a direct response format and the group that I used was fanpagegenerator.com. If you actually go to fanpagegenerator.com, you can click on the gallery just to get some samples of the work that they do. And if, if I had to classify this service, I would classify it as kind of like the Mercedes of fan page uh, generator websites because they offer what no one, you know, no other companies that I've seen offer. One of those is a custom video where they'll have a videographer come out to your location. This is again a premium service, so you know if if you're looking to save a buck, it's really really not for you. But if you're looking to go ahead and brand yourself across Facebook, Twitter, and um, other social networks using a strong identity or first impression uh, marketing profile that they create, this is definitely for you. So they did my actual Facebook fan page. If you click this play button, you'll see the video start up and play. My name is Matthew Lou, but please call me Matt since we're friends on Facebook. I'd like to personally welcome you to my Facebook fan page. And if you're not familiar with... So as you can see, it's very, very professional. But the bottom line is 
your Facebook fan page is geared for two things, to get someone to like you because when they click this button, your news, anything that you post on your wall or status updates, now go into this other person's news feed. That's critically important because you can breed top of the mind awareness and a bunch of other stuff we're not going to talk about in this particular video. Let me go back to my welcome tab. The second important thing is to actually get a name and email. So if you offer a free report, if you allow them to ask you specific questions, if you offer to put them into a contest to win a free massage or a free service from your business, or if you're giving away a free video mini course, give them a very, very large amount of value and exchange for this email, email address because at the end of the day, whether it's on your Facebook fan page or just a regular website, as you collect email addresses, what's going to happen is this is how you can literally get paid at a push of a button. Meaning that when you build a list of 500 to 1,000 people, if you want to make a call to action or a call to this list that you've built organically, you didn't buy this list now, you've actually built this organically and you're following up regularly. When you give a call to action, you're going to have people take you up and come into your office or purchase your products literally that same day. That's the power of email marketing correctly and really building trust and credibility with your list. So in order to be able to capture an email, um, you know, email and uh, name and email address, you want to have a great service to be able to do that. And this is another common question that I've been asked. I use a service called MyProResponse.com. You can actually see it up here, MyProResponse.com. And that's where you can find a $1 trial of AWeber. AWeber allows you to collect names and emails, but it also allows you to uh, track statistics, for example, of the open rates of your email. So let's say you send out a thousand emails. You want to see how many get open. You want to actually track the, the deliverability because that's a key important factor. You also want to track um, how many people actually click your links because again this is all about testing. You want to get obviously the highest open rates, the highest click-through rates, and a bunch of other stuff. I like Aweber because they also have phone support anytime you want or live chat. So to break down the marketing funnel again, you have a landing page, whether it's on your regular website or a Facebook fan page, and you also have this a video on the page. You capture their name and email, and now you can follow up with them through your autoresponder on demand. So if you want to send a blast to your thousand people, your thousand email addresses, or however many uh, you collect and build your list on a regular basis, you can do it. Or if you want to go ahead and set a, what is called a follow-up sequence in place, so anyone that would opt in, put their name and email into these fields, um, an email would go out initially that same day. You could set emails to go out you know, for weeks and weeks and weeks. So you're literally doing the work one time. You're writing an email once, and then you're able to reap the rewards and not work that same or not write that same email again. So it's about automation and leverage and this is what you absolutely must do so the mistake that I see most perform when they get on Facebook initially when they start to drive traffic they don't have a custom landing page and they're not building an email list do not do that build an email list from the start it's going to make you more money get you more patients clients and customers through your door and also have a professional fan page and a professional website built because that really sets the stage for first impression. So I hope you received a lot of value out of this particular video. So whether it's on your Facebook fan page or an actual website, make sure you have lead capture systems in place and you're going to build your list. You're going to get more patients, clients, and customers because of it. And you're going to make a lot more money. Don't make the costly mistake that I did of driving just a massive amount of traffic to your Facebook page or your website and not capturing anyone. Remember, the average person spends only a, a couple seconds on a website on average. So capture their name and email, make a quick call to action, and you're going to see a very, very sharp increase in the amount of leads and ultimately clients through your door and people that purchase your products. So this is Matt Loop. Hopefully, again, you received a lot of value and we'll talk to you soon.